crypto lights here we're back again with another video and today i want to give you an update on my strategy for wise token i'm also going to do an update on the buy dow chart and a follow-up from yesterday's video also going to give you a little update on bubble network and what we expect to have in the next coming days and weeks for that all right guys so let's get on with the video and we we'll start with wise token okay so wise um if you go back you can see my previous video and a, a few of you guys have used my referral link as well which i give thanks for so um i will leave a link in the description with the referral link as well so you guys can get over and buy some wise token if you would like to do that all right so if we go to my dashboard we'll see that i have added some more wise and a opted for a new strategy on this time around okay um, to start with uh, what I had done is I had put an Ethereum into one um, one um, reservation day and I didn't really get that much from it don't think I chose my day wisely at the time I then went and I put another Ethereum in into another day that one worked out a little bit better okay so the average that I got paid out on that and um, once a day ended was a little bit better okay so at the moment you can see um, it looks like I've got 133,000 or just under 134,000 wise tokens obviously that is not my confirmed amount because you'll see I've got all these reservation days okay and to this date I've only put around 7.87 ETH into it so roughly about $4,300 approximately okay so basically a lot of these days haven't ended yet all right, and I did this yesterday sometime or the day before uh, I can't remember all right but um what I did this time around is I spread it out between all the remaining days that were left but I took out the days that were only between 1 and 10 million wise okay because obviously I didn't want to kind of gamble with that all right so if we go back to the actual wise um, go to the main page all right it's not coming up let's just do that we go to the main page and i'll show you exactly what i'm talking about um with the the day the reservation days that i didn't want to be involved in okay so if you scroll down you see these are all the days that have closed already all right and then you get days like this where there's only between one wise and 10 million wise or nine 0.999 million wise okay so if you do buy in on those days and you reserve wise um, you can get a share of between one wise or 10 million wise okay so it could be two wise right and you know you guys will get a fraction of wise uh, shared out between you uh, that's not the kind of strategy that I would opt to go for so you can go um, on the main page and you can choose to add to all of the days I'll just show you how to do that um, I don't know if there's a better way to do it but this this is the way I did it basically so you can basically just go on here and select all days all right and when you select it all days you can put let's say for example 10 ETH Ethereum that will spread out between all the days but what you can do is you can scroll down and you can find the days where they're, they're random and you just click on that and it will take it off okay you can also go and further down click on that and take it off you can take out whatever days that you don't want to be involved in all right guys and just do it like that and then once you do that you pay uh, the amount of ETH that you want to go in and wait a little while and then it will give you a little congratulations confetti welcome and you sort it all right so if we go back to the reservation days um, you know it's, it's up to you um, how you want to do it okay but if you do scroll down you'll see that the final claiming date is on the 31st of December. So there's plenty of time to do that. There's no need to really rush in and put all the Ethereum that you're going to put in now. Okay. Um, the, the, the reason that I decided to do some of it now is the fact that obviously some of these days will expire and there's a chance that I might not get the best average um, if, I, if I leave it till later. All right. But I may add a lot more later. Um, but at the moment, you know, um, we've got quite a bit in there already, and that's still a large amount of money to risk on a pre sale. However, with this, I mean, it's ownerless liquidity. I believe there's a great opportunity for Wise Token to really kind of take its place in the market. So that's why I've invested in it. All right, and um, I should still put a little bit more Ethereum in as time goes by. Uh, but at the moment, with Ethereum going up, you know, it's probably better to just hold some Ethereum. Um, and then you can kind of jump in later you might even get more bang for your buck later all right 
So that is Wise Token. Remember, there's a link in the description so you can use my referral link. If you can hear the noise in the background, I've got a very happy little boy. Uh, <laughs> that's my son, all right, and he's quite energetic. So please do excuse the noise in the background, okay? But um, let's move on and see what else uh, we've got for you today. Um, might as well talk about Baidao just very quickly. Okay, so um, in yesterday's video, I kind of said that Baidao um, looked like it was um, trying to change trend. Okay, because we got a higher high and we got a higher low, and um, we 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 got rejected over here and it came back underneath this resistance level. I did say that I expected it to come back above that level and kind of uh, start you know claiming some space above it decisively and um, you can see it's come up and it's retested so hopefully now there'll be more upside for this and um, there is also the token ban which is coming today i believe uh, the 29th so the token ban will happen today uh, well a quarter of the tokens out of the 1.35 billion will be banned today maybe we just see uh, some fireworks in buy out little bit of movement to the upside and then each week after that there's going to be another burn all right so that might incentivize people to hold at the moment especially for the simple fact that it does look like it's putting in higher highs uh, or higher lows and then another higher high and now it's trying to claim some of this space up here and let's see how this performs over the next coming days and weeks just moving on before we close the video uh, bubble network obviously um, is doing quite well in my opinion it is holding levels fine okay i don't like to go too much into price action on this um, because obviously that would be um, a conflict of interest um, my bias is that you know i believe in the long-term potential of this being the founder and creator of it all right but um rest assured there will be an ama next week uh, with crypto wendy and also uh, we have some other marketing things going on that you guys will find out about in the next week that should hopefully be good for bubble network in terms of raising awareness okay also we are working on staking and farming okay we're looking into the two we're trying to make it stand out we don't want to just do it the same as everybody else is doing it and obviously that takes a lot of creativity and a lot of uh, there's a thought process involved in that rather than just you know doing what everyone else is doing all right guys so we will be uh, letting you guys know about that hopefully within the next couple of weeks as well okay if you look in the roadmap uh, we do have that listed to take place in december all right and also we have a potential partnership announcement coming in december as well so um we do intend to make sure everything does fall in line with the roadmap we don't want to be late on anything okay so nfts also in january more exchanges which cost money of course guys and you know it would be great if large exchanges would list us for free people are asking about centralized exchanges and stuff like that i mean ultimately that is the goal but um you know we need to ramp up marketing we need to you know achieve certain things first before we can start looking at getting onto a centralized exchange um it's just fortunate that we have decentralized exchanges as well and we can be on places like Uniswap and so on. Okay, so that's about it for now. If you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe, like, and comment down below. Also, all the links are in the description. Go and check them out, and I'll see you in the next video.